giving presentation in the field of spin physics for this exceptional audience is a great honor. Thank you very much for it. I will speak about mechanisms of spin orbit interaction in solids. Some of these are well known and some are less well known. Let me stress that the word mechanism is in plural. This is not a typo. Spin splitting of electron bands arises due to the terms in the Hamiltonian, which include both momentum and spin. This is known as the spin orbit coupling Hamiltonian. There are two basic mechanisms of this coupling, electric and magnetic. The electric mechanism is well known. Most of the literature only deals with the electric mechanism. The magnetic mechanism is specific for magnetic materials. It is less well known and will be discussed below, but it can be stronger than the electric mechanism, so please pay attention. I will start with describing history, the key symmetry constraints and examples of the electric orbit interaction. Then I will discuss various phenomena arising due to spin orbit interaction, spin velocity locking, topological band crossings, and the all electrical control of spin. That's the field of spintronics. After that, I will proceed to introduce and discuss the magnetic spin orbit mechanism, which is less widely known and, in my view, is of genius interest and importance. So, let's start. Due to special periodicity of crystals, electron orbital dynamics can be described by quasi-momentum K and its energy spectrum consisting of the sequence of bands energy as a function of K, periodic in K. Mixing of spin and orbital motions is controlled by spin orbit coupling. It's crystal dependent and symmetries are the only fundamental criteria controlling it. Brillion zone is a fundamental concept. The coupling spatial and spin dynamics are imaged inside it. Its volume and shape are determined by crystallographic and magnetic groups. The fundamental question is as follows. Whether energy as a function of K bands are spin degenerate or spin split. Answer depends on the symmetry, while the magnitude of spin splitting depends on specific material. Next, we discuss symmetry requirements for spin orbit band splitting. Historically, the technique for describing the shape of energy bands as a function of momentum K near symmetry points and lines in the brilliant zone has been developed by Wigner and his collaborators. It was generated for spin, generalized 
or spin by head. Principal challenge is finding double valid irreducible representations. And the long language of the technique is group theory. Periodically, of periodicity of reciprocal lattice in momentum space in conjunction with time inversal symmetry of non-magnetic crystals results in merging some points at the crystal brilliant zone surface into a single point. Such merging is shown in the slide for a square lattice model. Centers of four ellipsoids in brilliant zone of germanium are a real physical example of trim points. Next, I will talk about electric spin orbit mechanism in non-magnetic crystals. A3B5 compounds are widely represented in semiconductor physics. They exist in two modifications, cubic, zinc blend, and hexagonal, burtzite. Their energies are close because of identical nearest neighbor environment. But the dispersion laws of electrons near the point K equals zero differ drastically. Zinc blend unit cell of brilliant zone. Spin splitting of the energy spectrum plus minus signs before the last term is highly anisotropic. In these layers, Kz is in thin layers, Kz is large and nearly constant then energy spectrum is linear in kx and ky. Now for sight, left unit cell and brilliant zone with symmetry elements, points, lines, planes, right, k linear dispersion law, insert, and either energy surfaces near the conic veil Dirac point. Topological transition between torus, upper plot, and the spindle torus with emerging small Fermi surface, lower plot. Insert conical point. There are many unique phenomena arising due to spin orbit interaction. Here I will mention only some of them. One important phenomenon is the spin momentum locking. It is present already in the Wurzeit band we just discussed. Here, the spin momentum locking is shown for the same Hamiltonian, but in 2D. That's a plot on the right side. K and S are mutually orthogonal. At the internal branch of the spectrum, spin changes its direction when energy changes and crosses the conical point. Direct coupling between electron velocity and its spin 
leads to the electric dipole spin resonance shortly EDSR. It arises from electric dipole dynamics accompanying spin precession. Initially, prediction of EDSR was met, met with skepticism and its first observation was a surprise. When I reported it at Landau seminar, Landau himself accepted it instantly, but others were critical. I recall a remark from Ginsburg, since the result is clearly wrong, it must be some mistake in the calculation. To which Landau answered, Vitya, don't you see what kind of Hamiltonian he has? <clears throat> now let me say a few words about experimental work. I will rely by uh, rely a story by Herbert Kramer which I heard for 40 years afterwards. EDSR was first observed by Ron Bell in a resonator at a maximum of electric rather than magnetic field. Seeing spin resonance excited by electric field seemed quite improbable. They were unable to publish their paper until they have found our paper. This experiment, shown in lower left, so cyclotron resonance broke because of large disorder. The EDSR line, however, was quite sharp because of motional narrowing. The next crucial step was by Bruce McComb's work, shown on the right. The work marked the true beginning of exploring EDSR. His experiments used large crystals with high quality and a geometry that allowed to observe intrinsic non -dis Another unique property is diverging magnetic susceptibility due to topological singularity at the conical point. It, uh, it is seen uh, as a small Fermi surface inside. System is paramagnetic when Fermi level is below the conical point, that's the upper equation, but diverges and becomes diamagnetic, that's the second equation. Change of signs is obvious and there is inverse square root singularity in the last multiplier. This behavior indicates strong mixing of spin and orbital magnetisms. Without such a splitting, where this increase in susceptibility could come from. Controlling spin by electric fields is a wide multi-subject area. Spin and orbit coupling together with symmetry breaking lead to numerous interesting phenomena. Instead of a detailed review, I will show just one figure from a recent article written by five experts. The phenomena illustrated here include spin hole effect, spin transistor, spin orbit qubits, spin orbit torques, topological and Dirac materials, 
magnonics, called atoms, and more. The actual list of active research in even is even wider. Non reciprocity and so on. Lastly, I will talk about the magnetic spin orbit coupling mechanism, which I consider as highly important and which is not investigated until now. There are only very few papers on this subject. This is the key slide of this talk. So let's show down. So down. Magnetic mechanism of spin orbit coupling arises in a magnetic material which can be ferro or antiferromagnetic. It originates from the motion of electron magnetic moment against the background of inhomogeneous magnetization changing periodically at the atomic length scale. As a result, side by side with microscopic magnetic field B, there, is, there appears a momentum dependent field B that is coupled to the electron spin through its momentum K. Please look at the equation at the upper uh, corner of the plot. Let me emphasize the Hamiltonian includes two distinct magnetic fields B and momentum dependent BK which depends on the magnetic momentum. Both mechanisms, electric and magnetic, are of the same order of in the relativistic parameter 1 over c square. Generically, both mechanisms can be of the same scale, scale. But for small z magnetic mechanism, usually dominates. This is one of the central points of this talk. What are symmetry requirements for such spin splitting of energy bands? For non-magnetic crystals, the answer is well known. Kramer's theory. In magnetic crystals, bands are spin split over the whole brilliant zone if two symmetries are violated. Products theta i and theta i t, where t is a half integer translation that interchanges spins at two identical atoms of a magnetic unit cells, and I is inversion. Recently, Bowser Group has established this criterion and proved with magnesium fluoride as a model, the high efficiency of the magnetic mechanism. This paper predicted giant spin splitting. <clears throat> the very recent work predicts an even larger, colossal spin splitting in manganese fluoride monolayer. The gigantic splitting is due to special choice of the 110 orientation of the monolayer. This work nicely complements 
the recent the re, uh, this work nicely complements the results for the bulk. To conclude, conclude this part, the magnetic spin orbit coupling can be quite strong. And what is important, it can be strong in small z material. Here, I will talk about some recent and older day developments and conclude. <clears throat> in conclusion, spintronics grew into a large field. The aim is to connect basic science and applications. This is achieved by electrical control of electron spin. There is a variety of approaches to control spin by electric field and current in semiconductors, metals, and superconductor structures. If spin orbit coupling is strong enough and keeps increasing, the gap closes and then reopens. The electronic properties then change drastically. Such inverted band structures were known since 1960. What has been understood recently is that after band inversion, the material becomes topological. It has spin momentum locked conducting edge state and insulating bulk. Exceptional properties of such materials are a subject of fundamental science. It is an exciting and rapidly growing field driven by curiosity and promise of unique applications. Studying the electric and magnetic spin orbit coupling mechanisms has led to a many surprising findings. Extending the class of materials to other symmetry types promises new discoveries and applications. Discoveries made in spin orbit coupling coupled semiconductors and penetrating different branches of physics. This pattern is clearly set to continue. 